Hi guys, what is up? Sam with Explore Travel Photo here and today we are going to be looking at a photo book by a Japanese photographer. More specifically, that photo book is Illuminance and the photographer is Rinko Kawachi. So this is the first Japanese photographer that I have talked about on uh, my blog and it's going to be a very interesting one guys. Uh, I've previously mentioned Daido Mariyama in a few of my articles but uh, I haven't been in depth with the Japanese photographer yet. So this is going to be really great. So uh, as I said before, it's Illuminance by Rinko Kawachi. She's an amazing photographer. This is actually her twelfth book, so it's uh, no surprise that the quality is fantastic. It's a professionally made book. It feels very nice in your hands. It's well made. It's published by Aperture, a very large publishing company within the photo book world. So you know it's quality, really. And uh, yes, this is, this is her twelfth book, which is very, very interesting. And uh, a lot of her work is about narrative, and uh, for those of you who aren't um, familiar with photography, narrative is basically just telling a story through images and imagery, and that's a lot of what this, is book, this book's about, it's telling a story about Rinko Kawachi, because this book actually um, took 15 years worth of photographs to create, which is uh, pretty amazing really, 15 years, it's a very long time. And uh, this book is about the pair, the pairing of images, really. How each image looks in relation to the image before it and the image preceding it, and how they speak to each other and what they say to you as a person being paired together that way. For example, here the um, circles in the sand on the left-hand side, and then the circles in this uh, sun flare, how they correspond together to create imagery and to create a, a narrative that tells a story not just about work but about Rinko Kaachi herself and uh, she took this all over Japan so I believe she generally shoots in medium format uh, 6x6 which is what these large square format colour film photographs are she generally likes to shoot with a Rode Flex camera which is an absolutely beautiful camera which I must get my hands on at some point because as you can see it delivers this really nice colour imagery when you load it with a specific colour film or it also shoots very nice black and white but medium format film is something I really have been meaning to get into as of late it's just got a very nice aesthetic to it that's another thing I forgot to mention um, the way this book is made it's got um, these folds here each page is made of a fold and then it's all bound together in the back, but the editing of this photo book is must have taken a very long time, and by editing I mean the pairing of these images. It really must have taken quite a while to get it all to this standard and to tell this much of a visual story, because each pair of images tells a story within itself, and it's all part of a larger narrative by Orenko Kaachi anyway, which is just so, just looking at this imagery is just amazing. I really do advise you go and get this book. Can't remember off the top of my head how much I spent on this, but it really wasn't a lot. It certainly wasn't over fifty pounds. A lot of her work also features juxtapositions, sort of suggesting something, thought-provoking imagery, how it makes you feel, and that's all what photography is about. It's subjective. It's how it makes you feel, one hundred percent of the time. What it makes you feel looking at these images. How it makes you feel after. What it, does it inspire you to create, to go out and photograph, or to go and listen to music? I love this image here. I have no idea what it is, but it, it's absolutely amazing. I don't know if it's streaks on glass, or just a slow shutter and then some lights, but it's, it's really amazing. This book has a first-person narrative. As I previously mentioned, the uh, narrative is a big part of our work, but this sort of is implying that you're seeing the world first-person through Rinko Koachi's sort of eyes. Now in the back here there is a um, afterword by um, David Sharner, I believe. Yeah, David Sharner. And he basically talks about how he is was sort of reviewing this book, looking at it, and his daughter, who was a photography student, had never heard of Rinko Koachi. Um, a few, quite a few people who are into photography don't know about her, just because she's a Japanese photographer, and um, they, don't, they haven't come into her work really and just sort of haven't really come into her work like um, viewing it at all. So yeah she hadn't really come 
into contact with Rinko Koachi's work, and uh, he said that both of them were just sort of in shock. She came and sat next to him, and they were both just silent, flicking through the images, and it reminded him of when she used to read, when he used to read to her as a child, and um, all about the world, about the complexity of the world, which is what this book is really about, the complexity of the world, how beautiful it is, how stark it can be, how gruesome it can be. There's some very gruesome images in, within this book. But um, just how the world goes by, each second crucial, but also meaningless. It's very, very interesting. Here's the cover photo, and this photograph's on the back. Looks like pyramid shooting beams of light up. But he sat with his daughter and just looked through, and was just sort of, both of them were struck by the imagery. Not every image has a paired image, this one's by itself. And we're not going to go through every photograph, but I'm just flicking through, just uh, talking at you at the moment. Her rise to prominence was really sort of in the 90s, which is when she shot a lot of the work. And when she produced her three, um, her first three photo books, which were, again, forgive my pronunciation, uh, Utatone, or Utatane, um, which means catnip in Japanese. Hanab Hanabi, which means uh, fireworks, or Hanabi which means fireworks in Japanese, and uh, Hanaoko, or Hanako, which means a little girl in Japanese. Uh, this is some of the gruesome stuff I was talking about, some blood on the pavement, spider next to a beautiful forest. It's just this sort of juxtaposition work. It's very, very interesting, and uh, it really has inspired me reading this book. I'm looking through this photo book. I'm going to skip some pages, just to... Uh, don't want you to see all of it because then you won't go out and buy the book. But it's uh, brilliant. It's uh, filled with photographs. I'm not actually sure how many are in here, but it's filled up with photographs. Each in their own right deserve to be in this book and deserve to be published. Rinko Kaiachi is an amazing photographer, and her editing skills, pairing images together, is just absolutely sublime. Her work really speaks to the younger generation, and it, uh, it's a reflection of her. Look at that, it's just absolutely beautiful. It really inspires you to go out and create your own beautiful imagery, but imagery that isn't just beautiful on the outside, or sort of, that just has one level, but that also has depth to it. So uh, yes, this is um, Weightless Light by David Chalmer, and this is the sort of afterword where he mentions about his daughter, it's sort of in this page here, and he goes on to talk about how sort of famous photographers really support her, like Martin Parr, as she became more and more well known and prominent. I believe Martin Parr has quite a few of her books. But yes, this is just an amazing photo book, and I really do recommend you go out and get it. It really teaches you about narrative as well, about the pairing of images and how you can do that yourself. It really does inspire you, this book. And um, Rinko Koachi actually, actually says also in here that she likes, she loves the Rolleiflex because the viewfinder is on top instead of being um, sort of on the base of the camera. So instead of looking straight through it like she's facing the person or the thing she's photographing, she's looking above into it so it sort of removes her from the scene when she takes a photograph which is how it allows her to take such beautiful imagery I'll just flip back again just while I'm talking just to show you some more but that's the way she likes to photograph and uh, as I said before I really am gonna have to try this out and get um, a Rodeflex sooner or later in my travel photography and see what results I can get I also really like the format and the square photograph. It really lends to sort of modern times. For example, like Instagram, they use square formatting for their photograph. I mean, you can have other ones now, like a uh, portrait and landscape, but their original format had to be square. Which, uh, again, it relates to the modern generation, which is very cool. Um, as I said before, she has got two photo, photo books after this, which was um, Amit Hashuki and um, approaching whiteness, again forgive the pronunciation.
but yeah, I really recommend you go out and get this book. It's a great part of my collection. It's the first photo book I have that's more about the narrative rather than about the single images because uh, with travel photography normally it's about the single images that also become part of a story but this really focuses on the story and um, Rinko Koachi herself so yeah I really recommend you go out and buy this book um, also guys stay tuned because I've got quite a few interesting things I'm going to be saying pretty soon I've got really good interesting news actually about something that I'm doing for my birthday with my friends which should be really cool I'm going to be taking my GoPro so uh, stay tuned I've been Sam with ExploreTravelPhoto.com. I'll see you later.